Check it, check, 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 check. What is up, guys? You're here again, number 10, Artcast. And for now, ang lagwin natin ay sang Zerg. Oh, sorry, sang Protoss versus Terran. Here we go. So, let's start the game. Spawning on the lower left position. But we have our blue Protoss. His name is Void's X Rune. How about Void's X Y Rune? And sa lower right position, ating red Terran. His name is Pity Terran. Texan. Yeah. Alright, so medyo mahabat ng game na to. And I'll be teaching you something that's called Will and Determination. Si ang contributor natin from StarCraft VH, of course, ang Blue Protoss na si Void. Void's Zyrun. I guess ganun mo isu po pronounce yung pangalan niya. Void's Zyrun. So cool, cool. Binigay niya sa ating replay na to. And thankfully, Wings of Liberty siya. Kasi for some reason, sa newest patch ng Heart of the Swarm, eh. Ang tag dun. Hindi pwedeng i cast yung mga pre patch replays. So may problema tayo dun. So un until makakuha ko ng mga replays na after patch, I guess. I'll be casting Wings of Liberty games. Anyway, guys, take a long I set new music. Huh. 10% music. Parang hindi ko man nagiging eh. Oh, testing music. Parang oh, continuous naman siya. But whatever. Kung ayaw niyo play ng music, it's not my problem. Anyway, yun nga, uh, binigyan sa akin ng replay na to. <clears throat> and, and yeah, it took it, I took a view. Parang fast forward ko lang siya para makita ko kung anong pwede kong makwento sa inyo. At yun nga, malalaman nyo na even in the darkest moment of time, there is still hope. Kasi, basta, it's pretty cool. The game is pretty cool. And we will see later on. Medyo, mahaba ang macro phase ng game na to. Kasi, I guess, gusto nila mag macro. Which is very nice. So, I guess we'll take it forward for a bit. Forward natin ng konti. Yeah. Standard stuff lang naman siya. Fast expand. Both say like fast expand. Gumagawa ng wall. Si Void G Rune. <clears throat> Good. Forge first. Maybe for upgrades or just to complete the wall. Maybe thinking of cannon rush. But, hindi naman tuloy. Anyway. So here we go. Baga na silang second base and continuing on to go with their macro. Talagang walang gusto mag sa kanila. Ito yung downside ng Wings of Liberty I guess is na masyado na uso to itong macro phase na sobrang uh, passive ng players natin walang lang haharas pero medyo na sa sa ano Heart of the Swan kasi nagkaroon na ng mga utilities ang lahat ng races para magamit nila at makapagharas so that's a good thing medyo nakakabaliw siya pero kasama yun sa laro and sabi nga ni Ender ni Stellar ni Caviar na Mas feel na siya sa Brood War. And that is a good thing. It's not like this Fort SCV na nasa refinery. But that's not really big of a matter. Well, I guess. Dependent naman sa build mo. If you're dependent on minerals, may mules ka naman, diba? So it's not really a loss. Except na hindi siya optimized. And I guess, mayroon naman yung third base. It's Spiffy Texan. So. It's fine. He doesn't probably notice it anyway. Ako kasi may habit ako na pag nagmamakaraw ako, tinitignan ko yung mga gas ko just in case. Ayan, here we go. My third base is in Boilex Rune. And yung mga first signs ng aggression, eh, lumalapit na. Para kay Spiffy Texan. Nagsubukan niya. Titignan niya. Dito kaya gumagawa ng fort ang Protoss or baka nag Skytoss siya. Kaya nandito yung Marine para mag-spot ng mga Void Race or whatever. Kasi ang problema sa both players is hindi sila masyado nag-scout sa isa't isa. So, wala silang uh, information about each other. Ngayon, itong army composition ni Void. Let's just call him Voids. Ni Voids, eh, hindi ako masyadong confident. Kasi nga, wala siyang tanke. Puro DPS, oh. Puro stalkers. And, kung walang zealot ang stalker mo, madali silang mamatay. Ako, kung zerg ako, tas puro stalker ka, aba. Zergling lang ang katapat niyan. Pero kung may zealot sa harap, medyo mas mahirap yun. So, the same thing na... <clears throat> against Terran, pag pure pro, pure slower army ka, which is good kasi mataas ang DPS, eh, 
na counter ng pure marine army and pag may tangke ang mga stalkers mo it's gonna do a lot lot better than compared sa just stalker army kasi mas tatagal yung stalkers makakatira sila ng mas ano na mas matagal and din ya but you we will see we will see here we go mukhang uh, minute lang kiligili ni Void sa susubukan niyang gumawa ng konting engagement kaya lang ops teka lang masyado lang mabilis ang replay babagalan natin dahil may drop na papunta dito sa main base niya na ispata niya yon gamit itong pylon just to update you pero mukhang malayo ang narating at ito na ang drop here we go Mary, ready back marine marauders pretty good pretty good for dropping at yung target fire niya yung twilight council babagsak niya yung twilight council papasok na mga start curse mukhang hindi no Oh, come on! Target fire mo yung Twilight Council, man! Target fire mo! Kaya lang mukhang nagbago ang kanyang isip at mabubuhay ang Twilight Council. Mukhang nakauwi na ang mga probes ni Voids at nasave sila for most of the damage. And I don't really, I don't really know kung ano yung tinarget ni Voids and ni Spiffy Texan dun. Huh. Kung sa kanya kung nag-focus para on Twilight Council, it's gonna do a lot of things. Kasi unang una, di na makapag-research ng charge and tapos na yata yung blink nun eh. So, I guess not as much. Maybe yung nexus na lang next time. But, going back to the game, we see na plus two, plus two na. Si Spick, Spiffy Texan. That's hard. Try new pronunciation three times in a row. It's not that easy, man. Spiffy Texan, Spiffy Texan, Spiffy Texan. So, mas maganda armor niya, 2-2. Compared kay Voids na 1, na 2-0 pa lang, third going up. Itong medyo, ano eh, medyo macro-eccentric tong laba na to. So, probably could afford the second forge. Just for those upgrades para sa armor. Kasi nga malambot ng mga stalkers eh. Hindi sila tangke, di ba? And we will see what will happen in just a bit. Handa-handa na ang army ni Spiffy Texan. Kung ako si Voids rune, hindi ako papasok dito sa third ako papasok. Kasi ang daming units! And yun nga, mapapabalik siya. Papasok ako dito sa third, oh. Sa snipe ko lang yung Planet Harry Fortress na yan. And then blink out, go home, celebrate, have a party, make some zealots, di ba? Or something. Kasi it's a bad idea to engage in this without support units like Colossi's or Templars, di ba? Kasi herp derp, 1A Terran, OPS hell. That's okay. Kasi si Void Shun, marunong siya mag-macro. Third base na siya. Gumagawa ng additional robotics, maybe first come Colossi. And gateways are already up. Actually, my fifth base, Nasha. Wow, uh, fourth base, rather. So, like I said, this game is really, really up to macro. Talagang ayaw magharasa ng mga players natin. Si Spiffy Texan naman meron na siyang mga ghosts pang EMP, which is really, really good against these soft stalkers. Ah, may zealots na rin si Void, so that's fine. He will be able to last that much longer against the army ni Spiffy Texan na meron ng mga medivacs. Right now, may nuke na malabas para kay Spiffy Texan. Ooh, paano niya kaya gagamitin yun? Sana, sa base siguro, para sa mga probes. Usually, doon na lang ginagamit. Pero, pag nagawa mo siya ng maganda, against sa army ng kalaban, recent, most recent kong alam, yung napakatagal na, yung Kela Jinro sa MLG. I forgot ko sino yung kalaban niya. <clears throat> pero, nasa ramp, nag siya at the right time, tapos yung mga kolosa eh, napadaan at the exact moment. Yung kolosa, yung Archon, and sumabog lahat ng units ng kalaban niya. It was so awesome. I think nasa mga highlight reels pa yun eh. <clears throat> but right now, balikin natin itong laro. Si Piffy Texan. Spiffy Texan. Going out. Claiming the middle of the map. Medyo confident na siya sa kanyang 180 army. Laban sa 170-70 voids rune. Medivac Marauder is pretty good. And medyo mobile pa sila. Itong isang ghost. Titignan natin kung makapag-EMP siya. Oops. Wala yung nakakapansin. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that, my bro? Ngayon, si Voids Rune. Mukhang napansin kung saan babagsak ang nook. At he's gonna move out. Oh, nice blink in! Sa mga ghost, walang EMP na pumasok. Actually, meron sa mga stalker. So, that, that's not really that bad. Kaya lang, medyo mahal ang mga ghost compared. Oh, bakit? Si Voids, ilapit mo yung stalkers mo. And wow, Spiffy Texan with a bad manner. Premature GG. Pero kung ako eh, hindi na, I won't doubt it. Kasi full army na ito ng Medi Marine Medivac eh, di ba? Ayun, ang dami na yun, Herp Derp. Literal 1A Terran. Kumbaga. Kasi, you know. Ah, uh, I don't even need to micro. Look at my army. It's so big. I don't even need to make any more. 
Actually, he is Marine Marauder. So, ito nga yung sinasabi ko, medyo malambot ang Soakers laban sa Marine Marauder. Kaya lang, medyo bumababa na rin ang HP ng mga units na to. So, all Void needs to do right now is stay alive. That is his objective. It's not to win. It's not to kill Speaky Texan. It's just to stay alive, try to macro up. And exactly that's what he's doing. Making some bases up here. Trying to macro up his units. He's wisely not engaging. Kasi pag nag-engage ka sa ganyang kalaking army. Pag nag-engage ka sa ganyang kalaking army ng walang support units. Mamamatay ka kuya. So, you need to sacrifice your base for now, man. That's a good choice. As much as any. Wow, si Spiffy Texan. Papasok na lang ako. At gagawa ng damage. At talagang nagmamadali si Spiffy Texan. Gusto niya tapusin ang laro. So, GG siya na. GG. And, uh, let me just remind you guys. This is a very douchebag thing to do. Just to GG out earlier opponent. Parang, sinasabi mo na, get the out of my game, man. Get the hell out, you lost. I don't need to waste my time on you. So, which from this position, I don't really blame him. Kasi nasa in-base na siya. And from his, uh, from his view, see, he thinks na dalawa lang yung base ni Void. So, he thinks that he already lost. And just killing a lot of buildings. Yeah, no problem. Good thing na si Void and Mega Nang massive army here. And wisely making a lot of zealots. Okay, that's fine. Makapagtangke ka na and making Herp the Colossi. And yeah, na, nagsisimula na ang kapangyarihan ng Protoss lumitaw sa laro na to. Meanwhile, si Spicy Tech sa naghahanap siya. Nasaan kaya ang base ng kalaban? Bakit hindi siya nag-GG? Alright, pinatay ko na yung dalawa niyang Nexus. Bakit hindi pa nag-reveal ang base niya? So, susubukan niya muna umuwi at mag-restock and refill. Medyo pagod na ang army niya. Rest and relaxation muna tayo. In the meanwhile, si Voids, kinukuha na niya ang mga rebel army niya. Lahat ng kapitbahay niya, umuutang na siya sa mga other Federation Worlds sa Protoss para lang makakuha ng enough money sa banko para makagawa ng units at kita kita mo naman kinukuha na niya ang lahat ng available gateways para makapag warp in ng units meron pa siyang substantial bank para masuportahan siya for a time it's not gonna be forever he needs to get back that economic advantage that he had earlier kaya lang si Spicy Tech kan hindi din naman siya like slack off he has 4 bases and he's really mining out this fort sa taas sa upper middle position ayan sinasabi na nga niya alis ka na get out of my game man I'm on 5 bases and once again I cannot fault him for that as you can see ito na lang ang army ang nakikita niya parang inisip niya wala ka lang base bakit ayaw mo pang mag GG out hindi alam ni Void ni Spiffy Texan na mayroon pang dalawang base si Void and ang tanong natin sa Laguna to is will it be enough for him to claim the victory now tignan natin si Spiffy Texan sabi niya Ah, siguro may base siya dito sa upper middle position And yun nga, masascout na ng Marine Hello! Andito na ang Rebel Base Tawagin na ang Federation Army Ang Republic of Terran Republic of Tarsonis or whatever To clean this out Since red siya, I guess Mex siya Sons of Four Hall or something But yun na nga, kita na niyan Uy, may mga stalkers pa pala May significant army pa pala si Voice Naalala ni Spiffy Texan Niisip niya pa Actually, niisip niya na ito na yung huling base Puro Puro gateway na lang ang meron siya But ito na naspatan na niya ang mga high templars Oh! Nice blink in With the viking target firing Those stalkers Mmm! Nakako Ah! Ayan na nga! Dumitira na ang mga kolosay! Ubos! Ang ubos ang mga units Na nasa taas Nagkamal sila ng pinasukan Spiffy Jackson Ayusin mo ang laro mo Kung hindi ka mag-iingat Pwede pang matapos ang laro But he did take out A lot of in production facilities gave void X runes, so he feels very comfortable with that. Sabi niya, hindi na siya mahahabol sa production ko, so I'm just gonna leave this out. No problem. Unfortunately, yun a snipe naman ni voids yung medivacs ni spiffy texan, so that's gonna be a good idea. Unless and dito yung army. Oh, where is your positioning? Void rune, you're gonna need some money storms. Iyon na nga siya sabi ko money storms ang kailangan. That's exactly what you need. And unti unti bumabot sa mga marauders. Miss Pippi Jackson, four colossi left, a handful of stalkers and two archons are left for Void X rune. Will this be enough? Because there are about 146 unit comp unit army. See, Spiffy Texan, puro Marauders pa ang laman. And Marauders are really, really good 
against taking damage. Not as good as as dealing them. Because mostly tanky na unit ang marauders. Just to be uh, just to inform you guys, marines pare nang gali deal ng damage sa sa bio. It's not marauders. Marauders are just there to slow units down and to deal and to take damage. But for now, ang upgrades natin is plus three plus zero for Protoss ground. On the other hand, plus three plus two three. Nah, si Void ah si Spiffy Texan. However, si Void's rune, eto yung tigana niya ang mga bases, ang mga outlying colonies ni Void and Spiffy Texan. Nagawa pang tatlong lumili pa dito na command center na nakalimutan na yata ni Void ni Spiffy Texan. Pero kahit paano na kabalik na sa laro, si Void next rune it's ninety three to one eighty seven. Will it be enough? Will it be enough? He's trying to produce out as much units as he can. He needs to spend those thousands of minerals and gas in bank. At least yun nasabi namin na kailangan gasusin mula di ang pera mo. Because if you add a 2,000-1,000 army worth of army na hindi nakabank dito sa upper right corner, malakas yun. Malaking bagay yun. Ilang ilang stockers yun, ilang zealots yun, ilang kolosa yun, right? Compared sa nakanjel lang sila sa taas in big numbers, makes you feel better looking at, but ultimately not doing anything for you. Look at this. So Spiffy Texan naman eh, I don't have a problem with his bank kasi 3,000 lang minerals and gas niya. Kaya lang, 185 naman ang kanyang population. So, ibig sabihin, ginagasos niya na lahat ng pera niya as much as possible and wala na siyang mapagasosan. Ganun lang talaga siya kayaman. As you can see, yung tatlong command center na walang ginagawa sa upper right eh finally nag-land trying to recolonize yung position ng mapa na yan. So, boy, Rune naman, trying to stall time to get some energies on those high templars and to get this third base up just so he can go. But there's a nuclear launch coming in. As pata na naman, Miss Piffy takes an base dito sa upper middle position. Kay Void's Rune and babagsak ang nuke doing. Not really that much damage because nukes are not really good against buildings. Ha! Huh. You should use them against units, man. Nukes are. At the most part, sa high level games, it's a positional thing. Usually, ginagamit siya ng players pag ayaw nila yung kalaban nila na pupunta or papasok sa isang location. So, they're just gonna nuke it to buy time. That's a good idea to use them. If you can catch your opponent off guard at hindi siya nakatingin at nanook mo yung army niya, oh boy, that... That is just gonna hurt your opponent. Of course, it's good for you, but it's your opponent, man. You should have some... Oh wait! Before I lose my train of thought, here's the battle. Marauders have us as stalkers. Nice storms for Spiff for Void Rune. Hindi niya niya microing units niya. They're just letting him take the damage. Kasi alam niya Marauders may juto matagal. Unfortunately, one, two, three, four, five, six. Kolosa yung nakalabas. And nga ay si nasabi natin sa Starker. Ph. Pag may kolosa yung na sobrang dami, it's just herp derp one. A kolosa. And as you can see here, is in. Insanely big amount of marauders did not do anything against the six colossi and two immortals, and this is bad. It's 104 to 71. First part, first time in the game na nilabamang ang ating Starcraft PH hero. Tignan natin kung ano magagawa niya dito. There is now units here for Spiffy Tex, and he's just going in. Void X Rune trying to go for the kill. He really needs to do as much damage as he can. Kasi pag nakapag reinforce Spiffy Texan, it's gonna be a longer game. Unfortunately for Spiffy Texan, mukhang naisip na ni Vorbix Rune yun. At pumapasok siya. He's trying to do as much damage as he can with the production. Pag nakapasok na sa taas, si Voids, ibig sabihin mahihirapan na mag-reinforce si Spiffy Texan and it's one less step to the victory for our Terran. And here we go. Andito na siya sa production structures. Void Rune trying to reinforce with this army calling up, crossing from the map, and you know, reinforcements, yeah, he's gonna try to keep those Colossi as alive as possible, as much damage as they can do. But there are two Vikings here doing a lot of damage. He needs to pull back, losing one Colossi. Pero ito ng reinforcements, yeah, Mixsuggers, they're gonna be doing some damage on those Vikings that are doing the damage to the Colossi. Three Colossi are left, but I think, oh, no, mukhang bumububoy pa si Piffy Texan if he can take out these Colossi. Two left. There's uh, some suckers trying to defend them, but the two colossi just need to keep that alive to do as much damage as he can. As long as hindi makapag mass up to Spiffy Texan in good position, si Void's Rune, at hindi siya maharas sa kanya mga base. So we can just build up more units. STVs are being pulled out 
And they're trying to kill everything, but there is no way those SCVs are gonna do damage against those Colossi. Those Colossi are just awesome. Here we go, slicing in. Those Marines are not gonna... Actually, they did take and do a lot of damage on that Colossi. There's one Latitra. Latitra. She voyaged Rune. But I think this is it. I think the game is over. I think Spiffy Texan cannot recover from here. He does not have enough production and his production is not really supposed to be doing like that. Kailangan nakaharali sila sa isip sa malayang lugar. He, need, he needs to buff them up. And Voice Rune finally loses all of his Colossi. Pero meron na mga Immortals na nakalabas para sa ating Protoss player. He has gotten a lot of security in that assault. He did lose his all army, but look at the supplies, man. It's 33-11-77 and Voice Rune is really, really in the, in the lead, man. He's got his stuff back. He's got another base, a fort base coming up. Major confident pa I think he's gonna try to harass this base. He's gonna check. Yes, he is gonna check. And no, this is bad for Spiffy Texan. He has no way to defend this. Because he has no units. And when I say he has no units, he has no units, man. He's trying to macro up as much as he can, but it's not gonna be enough. There's just too many Colossi, Immortal, and stuff for Void's Rune. And even with that 3-3... It could do a lot of damage. He could focus fire a unit or two, but then mama matay lahat ng units niya with the time it takes. So here we go. I think, I think Void did it. I think he won this game. It's 100 to 77, and with the army ni Spiffy Texan na nakakalat sa gitna ng mapa at nagre relax at nag the vacation. Ito, ooh. I don't know, man. He really should mass up his whole ar whole army. To try to do something and that's exactly what he's doing one last attack oh vikings out in the open don't do that man don't do that they're gonna get focus fire by the struggles here we go and the marauders coming in we will see this final battle will spiffy texan get out of this game alive no money storms for void oh and i think this game is over high tempo is being sacrificed no problem for void whatsoever and spiffy texan is out of money and out of time and out of units and there's it is why you don't give up, ladies and gentlemen. I think sinasabi ko, even when things look dark, there's the GG! Ish, he's kinda, hi Ish. Uh, he's calling out to our resident StarCraft player. And so yung nga yung sinasabi ko, man, you do not surrender. Si Boxer yan yung he does not retreat, he does not surrender, and he wins games, man. Even na ganun yung, ano, yung laban, at, uh, you think you're dead? Dude, these Spartan uh, units, Spartan Protoss army, man, they are expensive for a reason. As you can see, Lugan Lugina, si Voids dun sa army niyon, pero sa ano ba, quantity over, quality over quantity ang Protoss, eh? so they can do a lot of damage, man. And with the money storms, kung na split yun is 50 Texan, the game probably would be different. But in this case, with the lesson I'm trying to give, Na do not give up, do not surrender. Kasi wakang, don't lose hope, man. Don't lose hope. You can still win. Don't uh, no, don't worry about it. Yang ladder anxiety niya. Don't worry about it, man. Just press the play button. But I guess that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Like, like, subscribe, comment, whatever. And if you want me to cast your games, just uh, email it to arcantil at mineski.net. I'll be more than happy to cast them. But for now. Good luck on your ladder, guys. See you around. Oh, and Heart of the Swarm, ah. Malapit na siyang i-release. Two more months, one more month. So, sulitin niyo yung oras sa beta. Kasi paglabas niyan, it's gonna be awesome. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye.